All right, good morning, guys. It is Monday, February 20th, 2023. This is Bathrobe Business. I'm George Yoganoff, and I have been absent uh, for a while. I did not have a single video all last week. Uh, unfortunately, just too busy. Um, so I'm trying to come back hard. Uh, I will do a video every day this week, even if it's just from my car. Just uh, kind of had problems with staying on schedule. So. Um, I want to talk about a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff that's actually very relevant to Utah. Uh, this is primarily a Utah business channel, and I want to keep it that way, and we have some amazing stories. Really quick, I do want to talk about some major stories from last week, and it seems like uh, the word of the day is inflation. Uh, it is still not cooling. If anything, it's starting an acceleration again. So uh, I want to talk about CPI. So CPI was up 5.6 versus expected 5.5. And it's actually up uh, 6.5 from where it was, uh, 6.4 from where it was last year. So that first number I gave you, the CPI, was just month to month. Um, so that's the consumer price index. So that's everything we buy is up uh, several percent. So 5.6 versus where it was a month ago, and we're up 6.4 for the year. So it doesn't seem like any of the uh, measures that the Fed is taking is doing anything it's not surprising if you've watched this channel we've talked about other forces that are causing this inflation so it's definitely not surprising next let's talk about jobless claims so jobless claims were down as well uh, jobless claims hit uh, 195 versus an estimated 200,000 so not only are we having record-breaking job hiring our jobless claims are remaining very low as well uh, we've reported very high job numbers in both December and January. If you've watched the channel previously, I gave those in more detail and a, a solid breakdown of where those jobs are being created. And it seems like uh, even as new jobs are being created, uh, people just are not going on unemployment at the same rates they were before. Next, let's talk about PPI prices. So, super coffee. Uh, PPI prices were also up. Now, PPI is mostly for producers. So these are mostly manufacturing costs, production costs. That's what PPI is. CPI is mostly uh, consumers. So PPI is what most people buy day to day, whereas, uh, uh, sorry, CPI is what most people buy day to day. PPI is what producers charge. So that is up as well and substantially. 0.7% uh, versus the estimated 0.4, so quite a large jump. Furthermore, housing is also up again. Uh, national mortgage prices rose another 4%. Uh, locally here in Utah, they're up about 3%. So it seems like no matter what we do, everything's still going up. Prices are going up, costs are going up, uh, mortgages are going up. Uh, and even used car prices are headed back up. So used car prices were up today again uh, a couple percentage points as inventory still remains low. So I know uh, even in previous videos I linked you to my brother's YouTube channel that talked about a drop in car prices, but it seems like the trend is changing again. Uh, so the trend is that it's moving up. Um, so across the board we are looking at more and more inflation and more and more rise in prices and wages. Um, now, let's talk about Utah, the story I really want to get to. So a couple of stories from Utah. First, I'll do the, this is the little story. Um, I guess the little story is actually a big story. It's just, it's kind of a, a far out uh, sort of story. So uh, the TI Instruments, um, the Texas Instruments, uh, we all use their calculators. They make semiconductor chips. They already have a plant here in Utah, and they plan to expand it. So they're expanding uh, their facility into a second building. Uh, it's an expansion into a second building for more semiconductor production here in Utah. It's an $11 billion project. Uh, they're going to come onto the market as quickly as 2026. So here within the next three years, we're going to be seeing more and more chip manufacturing coming here out of Utah. We already do do that. We already have a facility here in Lehigh. That's why we call that area the Silicon Slopes. But this is just an expansion, and I think it's great for Utah. I actually have a friend that works at that facility, really likes it. It's a good company to be in. It's a great sector to be in, and it looks like it's going to continue. Um, I actually have a, a friend that works out in Boston that wanted to get hired here, uh, was not able to um, several years ago. 
So maybe when this facility is back up, I can tell them, hey, you can come back to Utah. Uh, but this is actually great news, not just for the U.S. and that we have more chip manufacturing coming on board, but here locally, specifically in Utah. Uh, next, we had the NBA All-Star Game this weekend. Uh, I did go down uh, to check it out. Uh, I kind of had uh, really bad luck in having a good time, but that's more of a personal story. It was just kind of funny. It seemed everywhere we went was already closed that week, uh, that night. Uh, but the NBA All-Star Game was here in Utah. That's huge for Utah, huge for local economies. A lot of people came from out of state to visit, uh, not just the celebrities and the basketball players, but also just fans coming into Utah to watch the game, to experience the event. It brought in a ton of revenue. Uh, it even helped change a little bit of Utah's bureaucracy. So people that are in Utah are always concerned about the liquor laws. Our liquor laws aren't necessarily that strict but just more so uh, strange and how and where you can sell alcohol. But even that changed during the All-Star Game. So during the All-Star Game, they were a little bit lax with some of their laws. Um, all liquor stores are the only places where you can usually get hard liquor, but they did actually open up temporary pop-up liquor stores near the game, specifically at the Salt Palace, uh, just so that uh, we could get as much revenue from this as possible. All liquor stores in Utah are also state-owned, so that's state revenue coming into it. Uh, so that's kind of funny, and uh, we'll see what uh, what the numbers are here in the next couple of weeks. But it was supposed to bring in anywhere from 150 million to 200 million into Utah, just between all the game events and all of the tourist spending. Uh, it was a very interesting event in how uh, it seemed to be happening in multiple places in Utah. So there was stuff going on at the Galvin Center, at the Salt Palace, at the Gateway. Uh, lots of different events, lots of different pop-ups, uh, lots of money for food, beverage industry, uh, which actually coincides with what we talked about previously with jobs, right? We talked about previously how most of the growth in jobs right now is in hospitality and leisure. That's further bolstered by the fact that we had uh, 27 new restaurants open in Utah in January alone. So just like everywhere else, our hospitality and leisure industry is growing the most. Uh, we are a tourist uh, city. We are considered a tourist state just because of all of our national parks, the skiing, the snowboarding. And it seems that it's continuing that trend. Uh, more and more restaurants are opening up, more and more facilities for hospitality and leisure are opening up, more hotels, more Airbnbs. Uh, this is something I'm trying to get into myself. Uh, I do have some property up in uh, the Bear Lake area I've talked about in the past that I do want to develop into an Airbnb. Um, have had really hard time getting contractors up there to build unless the numbers are just psychotically high. And it seems like I'm going to be struggling with that for a while because currently uh, housing is, again, up here in Utah. So we will see. But I think this is a great story for Utah. It brought in a lot of revenue, brought in a lot of news and attention to Utah. Again, a state that is already growing and is becoming more and more metropolitan. I think a lot of people are starting to flock here more and more. Uh, the NBA All-Star Game being a great example. I believe this is the first one we've ever had in Utah. I've lived here pretty much my whole life. We've never hosted the All-Star Game before. So it was a great event and very proud to have that here in Utah. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, those are all the stories. Today was kind of low key. Uh, I didn't have anything great to tell you. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things. I feel like a guy that's been out of the gym for months and is trying to get back into it. So I'm trying to keep it easy, not trying to pull a muscle. Um, I will be back tomorrow with more up-to-date news uh, and better stories. Just kind of wanted to get back into the swing of things. So hopefully you guys like today's episode. Um, I hope you have a great week. Uh, it is the start of a new week, so I hope you set amazing goals. I hope you meet those goals, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Thanks. Bye-bye.